Welcome to Panther Sports, the one-stop shop for all things athletic at High Point University. I'm your host, Travis Woody. Last week was spring break for many college students, but the athletes of High Point University were still going strong, taking on some big-name schools and making the Panther name known across the country. It is March, and any sports enthusiast knows that means college basketball madness. High Point also participated in this athletic experience with the women's basketball team. On March 10th, the Lady Panthers battled the Liberty University Flames for the Big South Conference tournament title. High Point has reached the championship game only twice before. The Lady Panthers were led by Aaron Reynolds, who scored 27 points, tying High Point's Big South tournament scoring record. Reynolds hit five out of eight three-point attempts in a game that went back and forth, keeping with the excitement that March Madness brings year in and year out. Senior Shamia Brown added 23 points and nine rebounds, making the duo of Reynolds and Brown the first pair of teammates to both score 20 points in a Big South championship game. Unfortunately, the night belonged to the Flames. High point fell to Liberty 81-73. With the win, Liberty advanced to the NCAA tournament and High Point went on to play in the WNIT five days later. The Lady Panthers faced the Wolfpack of North Carolina State in the first round of the WNIT. High Point's pressure defense was quite effective, forcing 25 turnovers and grabbing 12 steals. The Lady Panthers would finish the game on a 25-15 advantage in points off turnovers. High Point was led by senior Shamia Brown, who tied a career high with 29 points. Brown finished with a double-double, grabbing 13 rebounds as well. Junior Erin Reynolds turned in her fifth straight 20-point game by scoring 22 points of her own. But the balanced attack of the Wolfpack would prove too much for the Lady Panthers to handle. Four NC State players scored in double figures, and the Wolfpack eventually earned an 88-78 victory. Shamia Brown finished her senior season with 533 points, a new HBU Division I single-season record. Shamia Brown you will be missed. Coming up after the break, we'll take a road trip to Missouri with the baseball team and we'll see how the men's golf team fared at the beach. We'll be right back. At High Point University, every student receives an extraordinary education and an inspiring environment with caring people. With rigorous academics and stellar faculty, students enjoy state-of-the-art facilities inside the classroom and across campus. In the last six years, the university has achieved high rankings and has tripled in enrollment and national stature. Our focus is on holistic education, on experiential learning, and on values-based living. That's Hop One University. Extraordinary. Welcome back to Panther Sports. Last Tuesday, the men's golf team joined thousands of beach-bound college students when they participated in the Bash at the Beach Collegiate Golf Tournament held in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. High Point competed against Appalachian State, Campbell, George Mason, Gardner-Webb, Longwood, North Carolina Central, Northeastern State, Radford, Stetson, the Naval Academy, Western Kentucky, William & Mary, Wofford & Xavier. Out of these 15 teams, High Point finished fifth. Freshman Charles Veluzzo was High Point's top finisher, ending the three-day event in a tie for eighth with a 54-hole score of 217, only 11 strokes behind the leaders. The men's golf team tees off next week in Williamsburg, Virginia at the CNF Bank Intercollegiate Tournament. While the golf team played in the sun and sand, High Point's baseball team made the short trip to Greensboro to play the Aggies of North Carolina A&T. Behind the arm of junior Ryan Retz and the bat of Willie Medina, the Panthers won their fourth game in a row. Retz went six and a third innings for his second win of the season. He allowed only two runs on seven hits and struck out four to improve to two and two for the season. Willie Medina went three for five at the plate with two doubles and two runs batted in to lead the Panthers past the Aggies with a nine to two victory. Three days later, the baseball team traveled to Columbia, Missouri to battle the Tigers of Missouri University in a three-game weekend series. In Friday's opening game, the Panthers proved to be a respectable opponent. Senior Sal Pizzino homered in the top of the ninth inning to tie the game at seven apiece. But Mizzou answered in the bottom half of that inning with a walk-off single to win the game 8-7. The next day, both teams were at it again, but High Point ran into Blake Holovac 
who threw a complete game four hit shutout to improve to three and one on the year. High Point's Matt Armstead took the loss, dropping him to two and two for the season. Missouri won the game 4-0. Frustrated by the strong pitching performance and facing the possibility of a sweep, High Point came out on Sunday with a renewed offensive aggression. The Panthers knocked out Missouri's starting pitcher in the second inning by putting up five runs and never looked back. Senior Sal Pizzino led the Panthers by batting four for five with a home run, his second of the series. Junior Jacob Newberry started on the mound for High Point and pitched, pitched sixth and one-third inning. At one point in the middle innings, Newberry retired ten batters in a row. High Point would avoid the sweep and go on to win 13-7. The baseball team is currently playing against Appalachian State at home at Willard Stadium. We're going to take a short break, but when the Panther Sports returns, we will catch up on some strong women's lacrosse action that occurred over spring break. Stay tuned. At High Point University, every student receives an extraordinary education in an inspiring environment with caring people. Cutting edge academic programs are matched with state of the art living. The transformation of this institution has tripled its size and it has attracted national attention. Students learn and live in a beautiful 300-acre campus. That's High Point University. Extraordinary. Sophomore Chelsea Thompson was named the National Lacrosse Conference Co-Offensive Player of the Week on Tuesday, March 13th. She scored 12 goals with 5 assists to total 17 points in the three games. The Lady Panthers played that week. Thompson contributed five points against Holy Cross with three goals and two assists and had a career best six goals against Robert Morris the following Saturday. Thompson leads High Point with 17 goals, 15 assists, and a total of 32 points this season. Her 15 assists ranks fourth in the NCAA and her 32 points ranks sixth. This past Saturday, the High Point University women's lacrosse team hosted the Patriots of George Mason University. The Lady Panthers were paced by junior attacker Grace Gang, who scored four goals and had four draw controls. Though George Mason jumped out to an early 4-1 lead, High Point battled back with a six-goal run to take the lead. Gang scored three goals during what would prove to be a game-winning run by the Lady Panthers. Chelsea Thompson continued her offensive tear by contributing five points on two goals and three assists. High Point would go on to win the contest 13 to 10. The Lady Panthers are now five and two on the season with a week off to prepare for the University of Oregon on Sunday, March 25th. Even though the madness is over for the High Point men's basketball team, recognition continues to rain down on Nick Barber. Last week, the High Point senior guard was named the National Association of Basketball Coaches, the NABC, District 3 first team. Barber was earlier named first team All Big South Conference with a conference leading 20.4 points per game. Barber leads the NCAA with a 48.4 three-point percentage and is only the second HBU player to lead the team in scoring four times in a row. He finished his collegiate career ranking in High Point's top five in 11 different categories. For complete career stats and records, be sure to check out High Point's athletic page at highpointpanthers.com. That's all the time we have for today's show. Be sure to tune in next time to stay up to date on all High Point University athletics. We'll see you then. Good night.